to America, all over the world. Today we are welcome to my channel, Mob Margate. Today we are making special. What is that? Ranch baked chicken thighs. Okay, so my husband will gonna show you how to make it. All right, so this is a very simple dish, one of my favorites. There's only a few ingredients involved. We're going to use boneless chicken thighs today. You can use bone-in bone thighs. You could use drumsticks. You could use breast. You can use basically whatever kind of raw chicken you like. But we're going to use boneless thighs because we like boneless thighs. And then just the, the marinade for the chicken. And that's it. So it's real simple. Prep's only about five minutes. And then it'll be in the oven. And before you know, it'll be nice and golden brown delicious. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the chicken thighs out. And um, these are some pretty good looking chicken thighs, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut them in half just so we get a few extra. And we did wash those off already right before the start of our little video. So don't forget this. If you wanna wash it, you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those all cut. And I would recommend skin side up for the baking process. For what? Why? It'll just help keep them nice and, and, and uh, juicy and tender, and then it'll get nice and brown with the skin on top. If you put the skin on the bottom, it's not going to get nice and brown. Oh, okay. So. And these, some of these are tiny. All right, so that is the chicken. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick before I start the next part. the chicken on there we're gonna go ahead and get those seasoned up we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on each of those portion we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little bit of oil not much I would say you don't need more than a couple tablespoons and we'll see how far that gets us you can use any oil you have at home if you don't have olive oil that's fine you can use canola or vegetable whatever you got and then you're gonna mix in one pack of dried ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix. And then I like to add in a little bit of uh, garlic powder or granulated garlic if you have it, just to add a little bit more flavor because we like garlic. We'll go ahead and we'll mix that up. And if it's too thick, you can go ahead. Like this is going to be too thick. I need to get a little bit more oil in there. It's not too bad, as you can see, it's running, but I'm going to add just a little bit more oil just to get it a little bit thinner to make it easier to coat the chicken. got the oil in there that's what will help promote that browning all right once that's nicely mixed together 
if you have a pastry brush, you can use one of those, or I prefer to just go ahead and just spoon a little bit over the top of each of them. Make sure you have enough, and then if you have plenty, you can always go back and put some more on, but I wanna make sure we have at least enough to get a little bit on each. too I don't have any left so that was one pack I used for uh, three boneless three two four boneless chicken thighs that I cut in half so if it gives you a ratio obviously if you need more than that or you're using a bone-in chicken you might need two packs but for us one's enough and then it's gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw it in the oven we already preheated our oven to 400 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw these in there and then uh, we'll check back in about 25 minutes and see how they're doing. So our timer just went off for our ranch baked chicken thighs. And look at that. They look delicious. They're just starting to get a little dark. So we're gonna check the temperature. If you wanna leave them in a little longer, they'd get a little crispier, but we don't want them dried out, so we're gonna stick that in there, make sure that our chicken's temping at the right temperature, which is 165 degrees for chicken, which it is, it's about 170. Yeah. So these are done, and then we're gonna serve it, uh, you can serve with anything, because my asawa is a Filipina, we have rice almost every day, so we're gonna have a little chicken rice with it, but you can have vegetables or pasta, whatever you want. Bon appetit.